Hi, my name is Meg. I'm the new Bedford and Dartmouth Recycling Assistant, and we're here today to talk about what goes in the recycling and also what does not. And this is... My name's Cody. I'm one of the recycle drivers for the town of Dartmouth. Thank you very much. And so to review, this week is a gray lid week. So the cart has the gray lid, and this is for bottles and cans, basically. Um, I'll show a few examples of what would go in the cart this week. So things like a soup can, so your food cans, your aluminum cans from beverages, empty aerosol containers, if there's a plastic cap that's easy to remove, place that in the trash. We would also put glass bottles and jars, and it's only glass bottles and jars, no other type of glass. That is a different type of glass that can't be recycled curbside. We take things from the bathroom, such as shampoo and body wash containers. We would also put things from the kitchen like water bottles, various bottles from food and beverage, so sports drinks. Of course, they're all emptied when they go into here. You can give them a quick rinse so we're not putting food or beverage in the recycling cart. Um, we also, of course, take jugs such as water and milk jugs and things from the, the laundry room, so laundry detergent bottles, and of course, they, we give them a rinse, get all the, the soap out. And so that's what goes in the gray lid cart. Also, one other type of thing would be the box cartons. So if it's a juice box, you would remove the straw because we don't want small things like straws in this cart. And if it's a box of broth or almond milk, just make sure it's empty, and then that can go in this cart. There's a thin aluminum lining in the box cart, so think of aluminum cans go in this gray, gray lid cart, so that's where the boxed cartons would go. And let's talk about some of the things that should not go in the cart. Well, there's a whole lot that I see all day long. Um, the first thing, plastic bags. They shouldn't be in there. Don't no. tie them up. Uh, tie recycles in it. They fly out of the truck, people stop me all the time. Hey, you know stuff's flying out. I'm like, I know, I can't control it. The wind takes it. Um, the other th big thing is um, the plastic wrap from water bottles. I see those all the time. Those fly out, those shouldn't be in there either. And like I said, mentioned before, um, don't tie them up. And uh, the plastic, more saran wrap. Yep, and so sometimes you see large wraps from maybe furniture. Yeah, bubble wrap is another bubble thing. Wrap. Bubble wrap is big. Correct. So, Styrofoam, packing peanuts, anything like that, it all flies out. Correct. Yep, no styrofoam. Even though there's a recycling symbol on the styrofoam, we do not take that curbside. It's very light, it's mostly air. It breaks up and as mentioned, it flies out of the truck, causes litter, and it just sticks to other good recyclables, so it just causes problems. So no styrofoam, no plastic. This is like a plastic film or wrap it tangles the equipment at the sorting facility. It's these plastic bags and this plastic wrap is the number one thing that gets caught in the equipment. And workers at the recycling facilities have to go in every day, stop the equipment, cut the plastic bags out. So it's a safety hazard. So we don't want it littering our streets and we don't want it in the recycling cart. Thank you so much for mentioning those no's. Um, and also no things that tangle, such as hoses or clothing, because again, those tangle in the recycling sorting equipment. Also electronics, I see a lot of electronics, the cords, anything electronic shouldn't be in there, no microwaves, VCRs, old TVs, anything like that. Thank you so much for bringing that up. That is another common problem, so exactly. So no cords, wires, those things just cause a big mess. So we want the, the containers in the gray lid cart, and then in the black lid cart, you put your paper and cardboard. So if you have a cardboard box, you break that down so that it is, it can, it's flattened, it can fit into your cart easily and then come out of the cart easily. So cardboard, and you have all of your paper. So newspapers, office papers, school papers, tissue boxes, snack food boxes, cereal boxes, 
all that nice paper board. If you have a pizza box, oftentimes the top is totally clean. So you can go ahead and rip the top off or ask the kids to help with ripping the top off and go ahead and recycle any nice clean cardboard. But if you have a big greasy spot or any food contamination, that goes in the trash. So often the bottom of a pizza box might be greasy. Throw that in the trash. We do not want food contamination in the recycling because these are being turned into new products. So the paper is getting turned into new paper. The bottles are getting turned into new things. So we don't want food contamination. We don't want to attract critters and we don't want mold and problems in the recycling. The inside the tube, the cardboard tube from toilet paper and paper towels, yes, that can be recycled in the black lid cart. Uh, but of course, no paper towels, no toilet paper. Uh, those things do not belong in the recycling cart. Uh, even things like junk mail and lottery tickets, those would go in the black lid cart. Those are recyclable. Uh, so if you ever have a question, if you are in doubt, give our office a call and we are happy to answer any recycling questions. So the district recycling office number is 508-979-1493. And you can also call the Dartmouth DPW with any questions. And their number is 508 nine 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 zero seven four zero and we're always happy to help and thank you so much for taking time out of your day today to help us out You're uh, welcome. yeah we really appreciate it and thank you for all the work you do picking up the recyclables really helps keep our community cleaner and greener so thank you so much You're welcome.